hey guys so i just filmed my recipe organizational video so i thought i'd film a little introduction to it i don't remember where the footage is of my pantry of my recipe book before if i can find it i will um insert it and let you guys see what it looked like before i redid it and then after um, it's really truly not completely done because I haven't found recipe card holders like sheet holders that I really like I'm just using ones that I already have around because the ones I ordered were not for full-size book they're for a smaller book so yeah um, I use a binder to organize all my recipes I do have a recipe box which sometimes if I've got recipes that you know are little on tiny little pieces of paper that I haven't tried I'll store them in my recipe box until I try them so yeah that I mean I use a binder because it's all in one place and it makes it super easy to um, pull it out and go through it and plan my menu around what we already have in the house um, it's kind of been hard to meal plan because we don't have like a ton of different meat or anything like that in our um crap in our freezer i couldn't think of the word freezer in our deep freeze but it is pretty simple i have my little planner that i pull out and i do my meal planning off of it you know i do my meal planning in it and i just use a sheet a meal planning sheet that i found online that i really like so um yeah i guess i will show you the recipe book and show you how to kind of how I put it together and there's not just um, recipe stuff in it there's also a pantry organist like section and a freezer section that is for inventory like just how much stuff I have in the freezer and things like that and so when I use something I just take a little white out and I'll white out the number and I'll just correct it instead of having to rewrite you know it in all the time um, that way I kind of know what I've got in my pantry, what I have in my freezer, and what I need to, you know, what I need to purchase if there's like a super great sale on stuff. So, yeah, um, let's just get right into it and show you the pantry binder, and I'll be back at the end of it to kind of sum it up for you and let you see it. Okay guys, bye. Hey guys, so I'm going to show you my um, kitchen notebook today that I have and I put together. So I thought you'd like to see it. Sorry for the glare. It is a Staples inch and a half better binder, which is what it is. And this is my cover page. Let me open it up. And I have the Avery extra wide tap dividers and these two just got filled in. I just don't have them labeled yet because my label maker ran out of labels. But as you can see I have main course, sides and salads, soups and stews, seafood, baked goods, vegetarian, slow cooker, freezer, and this is pantry and freezer inventory. When you turn it over there's my main course page. I wanted to decorate it up, you know, a little bit. Make it pretty. So I just have some recipe cards in here, and then just some printed out, yeah, you know, some printed out recipes that I want to use. This is one that I did up myself. And, you know, it's just all through here. Um, I think my baked goods section, I might end up using taps and dividing it out a little bit. Um, but you know, look here. This is going to be my pantry inventory. See, I'm going to write out everything that's in my pantry and how many of each item I have. I have quite a few lists. That way when I go shopping, I can look here and see do I actually need some more, you know, or when I'm meal planning I can break it out and say okay, I know I have this, this, and this, this, and this in my pantry. I don't have to go and actually physically look. And then 
these are my freezer inventory sheets. It's got vegetables, the date you put them in there, and how many of them. And entrees and everything. And they're going to go in this section. So I'm going to slip those in right now. And then I also have a freezer storage cheat sheet, which I got from Norway.net. And it tells you just like how long you can keep stuff in the freezer. And here's another freezer, um, freezer tips. This is from um, my 30 spot. And then in the back, these are tab, dip, dip, tab pockets. And these are recipes out of magazines and that I've cut out, torn out, that we haven't tried and I want to try. So I just keep them back here. And when I want to pull one out, I can. And if we really like it, we'll put in the recipe book. Now where I got the tabs from was Amazon because you cannot get the extra wide ones in the store. Yeah, and what I love about this table spreader binder is it's not on the spine and it's a little bit different. It's flat right here and then it's rounded. And I love the rubberized edges because it's softer to hold and everything. So that's just kind of my kitchen notebook and you know whenever I'm meal planning I pull it out and I sit down and I open it up and I, find my, I go to my main course section and I pull it out and also in the back or my slow cooker meals or something in the back right here these are divided like this is breakfast foods this is main courses this is seafood this is sides and salads, and this is baked goods. So these are divided up too, so you can see. And these you can get at like Walmart staples, pretty much anywhere. I'll try to link below the Amazon tabs, but I'll try. But when I meal plan, which this is my planner, which I I'll go to my planner, and I'll pull it open. I got to get dividers for this. This is my meal planning. This is called the Eat Sheet, and it's from there you go, MommyTracked.com. And basically, you just have the days of the week here and your grocery list here. And I'll show you one that's not scribbled on. You can see, and then I'll plan. I'll go Monday, and I'll see what I need. I'll see what's on sale, what I have in my pantry, and then if I need to right to the shopping list. There's my shopping list right here. This is from organi oops, organizedhome.com and so I will write it down. I can have multiple stores listed on here. This is just how I keep track of the prices I'm shopping. I just write it down and I calculate and scribble it out. This is recycled. But then that's there. And I also have a price book I'm working on and it is by product. So I have bread here. And I'm going to do like milk and other things. So, and also my week of my planning. My week of, there's a little menu section right here. So you can write it in. This is supposed to be for shopping, but these are for notes. But you can write in your menu right here so you see what you've got for each day of the week. So that's kind of my kind of how I use my recipe binder, my kitchen binder. So if you guys have a kitchen notebook, um, let me know in the comments below and, you know, let me know how you use it, what you do differently and things like that. So yeah, that's about it. See you guys later.